Hey, welcome to 2020. I hope that you had a really, really great happy holiday season, and I hope that you had a good, strong end to the year for your business. And in today's episode, in the spirit of the new year, I wanted to talk about goal setting and give some tips for how you can set goals for yourself and for your business so that you can make 2020 your biggest business year that you've ever had. And hopefully this will be incredibly helpful for you. So let's dive in. So amazing, extraordinary results, rarely do they ever happen by chance. It normally took planning and a whole lot of work uh, that goes into achieving that extraordinary result. And what we're going to talk about today is some goal setting tips for how you can help grow your business to the next level. And so number one, just want to talk about a few keys for uh, you know, how to set these goals. And everyone's got their own ways. There's no wrong or right way to do it. So if you've got your own flavor of it, definitely stick with that if that's what works for you. But I'll just share what kind of works for me. So Number one is physically actually write down the goals. Don't just say in your head like, hmm, yeah, you know, I want to double my business this year in 2020, you know, and then tell your team that, okay, yeah, let's make sure we double the business. Like, okay, that's nice, but I think you need to like get more clear and maybe come up with some steps that can help achieve that. So number one is uh, make the goals incredibly specific and measurable so that at the end of it, like, Anyone on the team, including yourself, can look at it and be like, hmm, did we achieve that or did we not? It shouldn't be this you know, generic, esoteric, you know, broad written goal. Like it should be very measurable and specific so that you know whether you got it or not. And then number two is actually physically write it down. So um, I'm actually more of a digital person, but um, so I'll, I'll write it um, down in, in just like a Google, Google document for myself. And that's how I like to do it because I, I can easily pull it up every day in my reminders or every week. And so that's what works for me. Uh, but I, I know there's also a lot of uh, you know, studies out there that physically writing down your goals by hand can actually improve the you know, efficacy or the chances of achieving it. So whatever works for you, definitely do it. I'd say the more times you can write it down, the better. And then after you've written it down, make sure that you review it. Don't actually just stick it in, in a drawer next to your bed and then look at it next year or not never look at it, right? It's really, really important to uh, make sure you come back to that and review it and make sure that you're on track. And then uh, another tip is simply to break a large goal into pieces so that it's more achievable. When you look at some big brown goal, like, oh, I want to double my business in 2020. Well, one, that's a really far away goal, right? One year from now, my, my business is going to be double. Well, okay, first let's start by writing down what are the actual numbers, okay? So if you're at a million dollars a year, let's say you want to get to $2 million a year. So, but I would actually break it down, and this is what we do at our company, is we have, we have annual goals, but we actually spend more time building out our quarterly goals. So every quarter we sit down and we have a quarterly meeting as a team and we go through um, our quarterly goals. And those quarterly goals are written in a fashion that are derived from our annual goals. So we, we, that's how we decide whether or not we are on track. And so, so an example of that is if you wanna grow from $1 million to $2 million in 2020, then what do your sales need to be in Q1 of 2020 in order to be on track? So, you know, for some simple math, you might want to, you know, have sales of around $500,000 or more in Q1 because that would have you on track to be hitting 2 million, right? But make it achievable based on where you're at. Maybe that's a little bit too big of a jump from where you're at. So it's okay to, to set goals that, that are a little bit lower than maybe you plan on having a huge Q4, right? So it's nice to break those goals into quarterly goals. But then after that, what we have our team members do is everyone comes up with a written plan of, okay, what should I do to achieve that this quarter? And so it can literally be as simple as, you know, just a few bullet points like, okay, well, step one is I need to pull the sales numbers for where we're currently at. And then step two is come up with a growth plan for what are we going to do? What promotions are we going to run in Q1? And then step three is, you know, X, Y, Z, right? So it's coming up with those sort of milestones, you know, those bite-sized um, things that will help make sure that you're on track for the goal. Um, so those can be really, really helpful. Next is I would highly, highly recommend that you do this with all of your team members. So I used to only do this myself, even though I had a team of like six or seven people at the time whatever reason, I just never included them in the goals. So I would set all these goals for the company and for myself. 
but I never actually shared it with the team. I just sort of, you know, <laughs> it was in hindsight, such bad, you know, leadership and management. I don't even know why I did that. I was like scared to show them the goals or something. I, I don't know why, but um, anyways, once I finally just shared the goals with them and was transparent and said, Hey guys, here where we're at and here's where I want us to go, you know, and then I was able to then assign sort of sub goals or related goals that I could assign to a particular team member. So in that example I used for getting your sales to double, maybe step two, I think I said was to um, come up with a, a growth strategy and promotional um, you know, strategy for Q1 of 2020. And so maybe you could assign that to a team member and say, you know, that's your goal. That's your sub goal there that, you know, would help us achieve the other goals. So maybe, you know, your, my goal is to compile the numbers and get that stuff organized, but then you do step two goal, right? And then maybe someone else does step three goal. So if you can, you know, let everyone know how they sort of codepend on each other because then that will create more of like a team environment where people are communicating and working and supporting each other I and mean, at the end of the day that that's how real progress is made if you do it all by yourself you're just limited by how much you can achieve but if you are able to include and motivate others to do it together towards a larger goal you can accomplish so much more you know when you've got two or three or four or you know, we've got over over 13 employees at our company. And so we're able to make, that's why we're able to do so much every single quarter. The next step is, you know, it's a, it's a great thing to write it down and have everyone know what their goals are and to be specific and all that. But then what we, where we dropped the ball before was we didn't follow up with our team members enough, including myself included. I didn't follow up with myself to, you know, to say at the end of month one, you know, hey, how's your goal? going right How, are we on track are we not on track you know are you following the plan that you came up with and so that was an area that we needed to improve on and we're trying to do that this quarter and what we're just doing is we we've got like set reminders like at the end of every month each person needs to literally write an update a written update on their goal uh, you know how's it going am i on track or am i off track and then what am i planning to do next month to, to make sure that we achieve this goal and if they're not on track, then it's simply like, hey, you know, as the leader or manager, you should say, you know, hey, what, what can I do to support you? Um, and that's something that I didn't do a good job of last quarter. And so we're going to do a better job of that, hopefully, this quarter. Just, you know, if someone's really off track or behind, but then just simply schedule a call with them on your next check-in. Bring it up. Hey, you know, so how, how, how are things going now on goal number two of coming up with that growth strategy plan? Like, okay, well what can I do to support you? Is there anything I can do to support or help? And just, you know, giving them the tools or sometimes they just don't know. Sometimes they're not clear on what the goal actually was because you wrote it. So it's really important to, you know, if someone seems off track to try to catch that before the end of the quarter. So, what, you know, versus we would catch it at the end of the quarter, like, well, we only accomplished half of the goals. So, you know, that, uh, <laughs> that, that wasn't great. Those are a couple tips there. So again, but and you also need to hold yourself accountable and make sure that you're not just checking in with other team members, but hold yourself to that same standard or, or higher. Okay, so next I wanna talk about a few different categories of goals that you may wanna uh, write down, especially if you're selling on Amazon as one of your sales channels. But this can also apply to you know, your, your uh, e-commerce store like Shopify or wherever else you might sell, or just as a company in general. So number one, the easiest one, and probably hopefully most people are doing it is sales goals, revenue goals. So, you know, this can be achieved. You can achieve sales growth a number of ways, you know, through PPC, you know, Amazon PPC and uh, advertising spend and scaling that external growth strategies. We talk a lot about that here at turnkey of what strategies are working on Amazon and our growth strategies accelerator, you know, so you can include those sort of things in your plan to achieve the revenue goal. So I would highly recommend that you've got your annual and quarterly revenue goal that you want to hit um, and that will help keep you on track. Another category as well, I sort of mentioned here is Amazon PPC. So uh, that's just such a critical you know, building block in your Amazon business. And so I would really take a look at how did we do in 2019 overall? Like what were our numbers? How much did we spend? What was our profitability? And then project that forward and say, what do we want to do this year? Do we want to expand that? Do we want to increase our profitability? Or do we want to you know, double that spend or you know, coming up with those goals 
I think is just a, a really, really critical place to target and to monitor regularly so that you are you know, having a high chance of achieving it. And then number three is conversion goals. So this is a really one that we don't see as many clients that come to us. They don't tend to ha have these goals, but these can be really, really helpful where you basically take a baseline. Where, where are your conversion rates for each SKU, for each product that you have? Where's your conversion rate? Maybe it's 7% on this product and 10% on that product and 2% on you know your third product so take that as a baseline and say okay which ones do we really want to focus on right and how much do we want to grow them by maybe we want to get that three percent one up to you know that seven percent number maybe we want to grow that seven percent product we want to grow that to eight percent or ten percent right and then it's come up with a plan what can we do uh, to get there right because conversion rate is such a critical piece of the Amazon A9 algorithm and it affect, you know, this can help your Shopify website as well if you have a higher converting page. So what can you do? Can you get better images? Can you do videos? You know, what, what can you do? So that's a really, really great aspect to write goals out for. And then if that is an area that you really need improvement in, in January, we're gonna be announcing that we're, we're launching, I think we're on track for like early February is when we'll actually, you know, have it ready and, and public, but, you know, we're uh, launching a, an, another online accelerator where we're covering our top conversion optimization strategies and tips. So you go through that and we're going to tell you everything that you need to do in order to grow your conversion rates on Amazon, which thus would grow your sales. And so uh, we are launching that in late January, early February. Uh, it's going to be uh, a no brainer as far as the like ROI investment on that because it'll pay for itself. If you, if you take any actions from it, it should pay for itself very quickly. So make sure that you check that out uh, over at our website, turnkeyproductmanagement.com, uh, if that might be of help to you. And then lastly, what I want to recommend is make sure that you also do personal goals as well. Now, you don't have to share these with the team if you don't want, but we started doing this with our team where, you know, originally we did all business goals and it was all business and all, you know, kind of boring, boring stuff in that regard. But what we did was we had everyone on the team write down one personal goal that they're trying to accomplish this quarter and then this year as well. And that just really helped get our team to like know each other on a, on a deeper level because, you, you know, you realize like, wow, this person, you know, I didn't even know that this team member's goal is to, is to like slack line across like this, you know, 50 foot high thing. It's like, wow, I did no idea that they, they were like a daredevil and uh, like doing that stuff. Right. Or you realize, you know, to some team members like, you know, health and just working out is super duper important. They want to work out four or five times a week. And, you know, so then you can kind of help help uh, support each other throughout the quarter. Hey, how's your goal going, right? And you can connect with that. So we had certain team members that had similar goals and they, they started sharing workout plans and workout tips. And then they realized they have similar diets. They're both keto. And then they started sharing keto recipes. And, you know, so it just sort of opens up your team to sort of just connect on a, on a deeper level than just work and realize that we're all just, you know, friends and human beings that, that uh, you know, we should, you know, spend time on the personal stuff as well. And another benefit as well is obviously, you know, if you can help support your team to achieve their personal goals and you're actually helping them, they're going to really appreciate that most of the time. And they're going to want to, you know, stick for you and work hard, hard for you if they're accomplishing their goals and you're doing what you can to support them because you want them to be happy. You want happy team members, right? So those are just a few different tips that, uh, you know, I wanted to take away from our recent goal setting session that we did here at Turnkey Product Management. Hopefully you can take away a couple tips from, from today and maybe build it into your goal setting uh, procedures that you do. Hopefully you have some. If you haven't, if you don't do this regularly, you know, in, in uh, you know, beginning of the year, in the new year, obviously that's a great a great time to uh, to do that. It's, you know, it's obviously a big trend, a trendy thing, but honestly, you should be like, I, I propose you should be doing this like on a quarterly basis. Doesn't need to take 10 hours or anything like that. Like just keep it simple. What are the top goals? Really narrow it down and focus in on those top goals. Don't have a hundred different goals, really just focus in. And, you know, if you watch it every single week, every single month, at the end of the day, you're usually going to find a way to get there. Or even if you only got halfway there, you know, you're, you're still going to make really, really great progress and you'll probably be in really great shape. Hope that was helpful. And I hope that you guys accomplish all of your goals in 2020, double, triple your business, whatever you need to do. So thank you for listening.
Thank you guys so much for listening to that episode. As you can tell, I am super pumped on goal setting and I hope that you can carry that into your business to grow as much as you want to grow it. And in the spirit of the new year, if you are looking for ways to grow, like if part of your goals are to you know, double your business, triple your business, or you, you want to grow and you're not sure exactly how you're going to get there, uh, one of the fastest ways that I know of, like that's what we're here to do at Turnkey Product Management is we try to help companies to quickly grow and scale. We have a lot of different ways that we can help companies do that, whether we do it for you through full service management or you know, taking over your PPC management, or we can coach you to do it. So you can keep that knowledge in house and you can build that, you know, that expertise and those strategies to take your business to the next level very quickly. Um, so that's a really cost effective way to do that as well. So if you're interested in any of those things, I would highly recommend that you just head over to turnkeyproductmanagement.com, click on the uh, apply page, and it's free to just give us a little bit of info about what you're looking for, what you're trying, you know, what are your pain points. We'll help diagnose what we think you need help, and if we can help you, we'll let you know. And if we can't, we'll let you know. We, we can't help you, you know, here at Turnkey, but we'll try to point you in the right direction um, so that you, you know, can accomplish whatever you need to accomplish in your business because we're here to support you guys and your business goals. So hope you guys all have an amazing 2020 ahead of us and thank you for listening as always.